What's up? I'm Noah Cyrus, and Pop Buzz has asked me to do portrait mode. Portrait mode? Yep, okay, cool. I had to double take that you said that because my best friend and I say cribbo mode. Like whenever we see like a dope house. So we pass the Buckingham Palace, we're like cribbo mode. <laughs> I've been staring at the colors like, how do you make the color? What is that? Like, what would you say that color is? Magenta? Okay, let's just start a little outline. Oop, little short. Oh, it's purple. Okay. I'm no Picasso. There was this one summer. This was a long time ago. And I don't know, it was my dad and I in Nashville. And I just remember us having the most fun time in Nashville. It was just him and I on the farm and we were there for a whole summer. He taught me how to ride horses really. He got me my first like saddle. And I don't know, it was just really fun. And I just remember that being like a really happy moment for me. We kind of talk about this a lot, like that time a lot. Wow, I'm really bad. But yeah, even though I'm like, wow, when's the last time you were happy, Noah? When I was nine years old. <laughs> if I'm being real with you, I kind of have the same exact personality as I always have. I've kind of wanted to be the funny one in the room. Not like I really like go out of my way, but like I've just always enjoyed making people happy and making people laugh. And when I was a kid, I loved like dancing and like my best friend and I still do that now. Like we were in the hotel room last night making choreo. Like, so I feel like I'm kind of just the same as I was. There's like a lot that I would tell my younger self now, just like about growing up and insecurities and you're gonna learn and you're gonna go through and that's gonna be really hard that you would never guess that younger you would go through that kind of like makes you sad. I felt a little bit uncomfortable in my own body because I felt like a lot of people were judging it and I wanted to hide myself at such a young age. That's kind of sad for such like a young girl. First thing I would do for younger Noah is just kind of like give her a hug and be like, everything's all right. Oh, that's the color that I was looking for. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. You know when it all clicks. I'll see things that I used to see online as a kid that would make me really upset now. And it still does, but it's kind of different now, you know? I kind of know how to ignore what people are saying online now, if that makes sense. Like I kind of know facts from fiction, but as a kid, you don't know better. And you think if so many people are all saying the same thing, then it must be the truth. Or at least that was my logic. Wow, I only have six minutes and I've only painted a sweater. Hmm, how am I gonna get this green? Oh, okay, two, three. <laughs> I think what freaks me out about social media is like, how people don't have a filter and they'll say whatever the f they wanna say and they think it does not affect anybody and it actually blows my mind. If you're hateful to me and how, like all these other people on Instagram, like what's it like for people that aren't used to that? They don't get that every day. That's what's really scary about social media is because you know, this really hurts their mental health and it's such an important topic, you know? When I was on the Good Cry tour, I had a really, I was struggling really bad with my mental health and I needed to get, <laughs> I needed to get home and get healthy. And when I did so, I felt so much better. I know that I'm not the only one. All of my friends are going through it too, you know? And I see a lot of artists that I'm friends with, they go through the same thing. I think that's something we can all connect on is we all feel lonely at times or like not accepted or judged by people and it's really easy to feel alone so it's nice to be reminded that other people out there like are feeling the same way as you i don't know why i'm using the tiniest brushes <laughs> for such little you guys are gonna freak <laughs> usually if i see something stupid i'll just kind of call it out i haven't really seen something that's like made up that i've been like huh like that's not true you know guys this is great first song that I really ever learned to sing was Seasons in the Sun by Terry Jacks. Um, and my dad would play it all the time. So I would say that's my favorite. And that's like, whenever I'm with my dad, I'm always like, let's sing Seasons in the Sun. That's kind of like our thing. I wrote a song for a friend of mine who actually had been through a real hard time with like her family life at home. And 
school and um, her mental health. And I wrote it about her and kind of how the world would be like without her, like how sad we would all be without her and like how much of an impact she makes on everybody's lives. Uh, she came to me and I went to my mom. I was like, you gotta talk to my mom because she wasn't very close to her family. Um, that she was suicidal. And I didn't know what to do at the time. I was so young, but I, I said, you know, my mom's like your mom. And they talked it out my mom helped her out. I wrote her this song in perspective of me and her dad uh, and her, her little brother and kind of how everybody would feel like if she was just one day not be here anymore. And that was, she, she like made a recording on her phone and she would play it when we like drove around in the car. She was older than me. Now I listen to it and I'm like, how did you even listen to this song? It's insane, but it's sweet. It comes from a good place. Wow. Well, I forgot the popsicle, but that's all right. Here's the popsicle, yum. Voila, you guys are gonna love it. Thank God I can sing. <laughs> Prepare to be dazzled. Oh, welcome out. Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, and my manager just said it's not bad. So, this is for your office. <laughs> I think it's great. Honestly, it looks just like me. <laughs> the hair is sending you? Oh. What if we add some strands? Does that, is that yeah, that's it. better? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dad. That was amazing. Thank you.